Right, um, on this question, we are given that the question is saying the turning points of the graph of f of x equals to minus 2x cubed plus ax squared plus bx plus c are 2 and minus 9 and 5 and 18 determine the value of a, b and c. So we are given that these are turning points, which means surely we must differentiate because we know that the derivative at a turning point is zero, which therefore means that f dash of x is now equals to differentiating this one, we get minus six x squared plus two a x plus b. Therefore, minus two and zero is a turning point. Therefore, the derivative at that point is zero. Therefore, which means when you substitute x to be 2, uh, the gradient must be 0, 6 into 2 squared plus 2a into 2 plus b is equal to 0, which therefore means there this becomes uh, minus 24 plus 4a plus b equals to zero, which an actual fact means that um, our 4a plus b is equals to 24. I'll call it equation number one. Then as we get to equation number two, we use the second turning point. Therefore, our x is five, which now means here minus six. We are substituting into this one again, into five squared plus 2a into 5 plus b since it's a turning point again the derivative is zero simplifying there this becomes 25 times minus 6 it gives me minus 150 plus 10a plus b equals to zero which now means here we are saying 10a plus b is equal to uh, 150. Uh, then, which means this becomes equation number, um, number 2. Here I'm thinking that I can also even say here my b equals to 24 minus 4a. And I can do the same again here making b the subject it means my b will be equals to 150 minus 10 a then these two they will become equal since they are both equals to b which in this case now means we are saying um uh my this one it will be 150 minus 10 a is equals to 24 minus 4a. Uh, to this side, 150 minus 24, it must be 126, I think, is equal to minus 10 to the, it will be minus 4a plus 10, which is equal to 6a. We divide by 6, we divide by 6, which in this case means that my a is equals to 6 into 1 6 into 126 which uh, exactly into which exactly will give me 120 therefore my a is 120 then to to get uh, no not my, therefore my a is 21 therefore to get our um, our b value it means b will now be equals to uh in this case it will be 24 minus 4 our a here is 21 which is 21 therefore it means b will be equals to 24 minus 48 uh 24 minus 48 uh, in this case, uh, it gives me my 24 minus 24 minus something is not adding up here. 
4 times 21 is not 48, it's 84. So it will be 21 minus 84, which means the 24 minus 84, it will be 0 there, which means B will be equal to minus 60. So rewriting my equation, it now means, um, uh, it now means f of x will now be equal to, uh, let me take my camera up so that you see the original, the original is there, it means it will be now equal to minus 2x cubed, my a is, um, my a is 21. So it will be plus 21 x cubed minus 60 x plus c. Now I'm left with finding the value of c. For me to find the value of c, I'm again going to use the coordinate of uh, 2 and minus 9 because those are relatively smaller coordinates, uh, which means my y is 9. Therefore, it will be equal to minus 9 is equal to minus 2 into our x is 2 cubed plus 21 into 2. This one is squared here. Yeah? 2 squared minus 60 into 2 plus c. Which means here it will be my minus 9 is equal to 2 squared, that's 4 times 21, that's 84, then 84, which means this is 84, this part will be minus 16 plus 84 minus 120 plus C, uh, which means here I'm saying minus 9 is equal to uh, minus 16 plus 84 minus 120 will give me uh, minus 52 you can confirm that with the calculator plus c now which now means my c is equal to uh, rewriting that one let me take my closer my working closer again which means that my c will now be equal to minus 9 plus 52 which means c uh which means c is equal to 43 therefore we have money to find the values of a b and c thank you so much god bless you